Welcome back to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Jack Ramlick, Deputy Chief with the Spring Lake Fire Department and Lifeguard with Spring Lake Ocean Rescue. Today, we're gonna to discuss landline rescues. It's a tool in the toolbox for open water rescues. Not always applicable, but when you need it, you really need it, and it's a great asset to have. So here we have our rescue landline. It's a very simple concept. In this case, it's on a reel. You might also find them in a bucket. You might also find them in a bag. Very simple concept. You have a shoulder strap, usually attached to some sort of clip here, and then just a long amount of polypropylene line. I prefer carrying 600 feet. And using the line, you have your shoulder strap, you don it like so, just across your chest here and over your shoulder. And from here, you would swim it out to whatever your emergency is in water and give a signal and then be pulled back in. There's a lot of practical applications of this line, a multi-victim rescue scenario where your single swimmer or second swimmer doesn't have the manpower to pull in a large amount of victims, so you're gonna just get pulled in by the line. Very simple. Again, we're gonna enter the water, we're gonna swim out, and in this case, we're not gonna reach our victims first because we already have some sort of rescue swimmer out there already with our victims. We make contact, and the most important thing about our landline is that we have to give the call to start pulling from the water. We cannot let the beach and our tenders on the line determine when they're gonna start pulling because we might not be ready. That being said, we do not wanna get pulled in with the landline while the line is still wrapped around us like so because it's gonna pull us underwater and me as the rescue swimmer is gonna be in bad shape taking on a lot of water. We wanna drop this strap down to our waist like so before we make the call to start pulling. From here, we'll grab on to the torpedo, the tube, our victims, whatever we have out here. Again, the situation will dictate what exactly we're pulling in. The most important thing is we've all communicated, we're ready to be pulled in, and me as the swimmer am gonna give the sign to pull the line. Whatever your SOGs dictate is the signal you'll give. Most commonly, it's gonna be just an arm up or we're gonna actually simulate pulling a line like so, and then we're gonna get pulled in. Now, on the tender side, on the beach, we're never helping anybody out by feeding line. We're just gonna let that line go as they enter the water and give them as much slack as they need, never creating any unnecessary tension. When we get the signal to start pulling, we're gonna do so with a hand over hand motion. We don't wanna pull like this because we might lose grip. It might create some friction burns on our hands. This line might have been sitting around for a while. It's splintery, it's a hard plastic. For that reason, hand over hand. So we're gonna pull like so, hand over hand, hand over hand. You can add a second or third puller on the line and we're just gonna maintain visual observation of the people we're saving and pulling in because that's gonna dictate whether we pull harder, we give them a little bit of slack, you may be in a surf environment where they require slack coming over a wave. Again, there's really no concrete black and white policy as to when to use this line and how to use it. It's just a very good tool to keep in your toolbox. So today, we covered landline rescues in the open water environment. It's a very diverse tool with a lot of practical applications, not always required, but when you need it, you really need it. Thanks for tuning in to Training Minutes for Fire Engineering. I'm Jack Ramlick.